folks. This is the shelving unit that I built for all of our mason jars. Let's head out to the garage. I'm going to show you how I built these. This is a building technique called grid beam. It was developed back in like the 70s or 80s, 70s? I think the late 70s. Essentially, you can, you know, just unscrew these bolts and move anything anywhere you want. We can move the shelves up and down, give us more space, and or just break the whole thing down, build something else. It's essentially a big erector set that you can just kind of build whatever you want. So this is some of the wood that we got. I just use stock 2 by 2s Some of them, as you can see, have a little bend in them. I just left it because I wanted it as easy to do as possible, so I did not plane them. I did not rip them down to a you know, the correct size. Here's the miter saw. So this is used to cut it to length. You can cut them any size you want. I was trying to keep it even, like four, twos, fours, six, but for the depth I ended up actually going five holes. I borrowed a drill from a neighbor. So this is a drill press and then this is a jig that I built. This is five sixteenths and all the hardware that I'm using are one fourth. So they have a little give in there. After everything was drilled, then I came over here, hit it with like a little mouse sander, and then I did, because it was going inside, I just kind of threw on some paste wax. We are back inside. We are looking at the actual applique, like putting it together and what we used. This bolt here is a three and a half inch, one fourth inch bolt with one nut and then two washers. We use a 5 16th bit for these holes. So using a 1 4th inch bolt actually allows the wood to have a little play so you don't have to get anything uber super precise, which is really nice. So let's see. These are 3.5. This is a 2.5 because this is a 1 by 4. These dowels are 5 16ths, which I basically just sanded the edge. Basically, if this is the dowel, you sand this side, you sand this side, so it fits into the 5 sixteenths hole. Let's see, what else? I think I took off the board on the bottom and the very top. Uh, if you do use a board, this will be too short. It won't actually make it. So you can get a four and a half, I think, and that will actually slip all the way through. Anything else? I put felt pads at the bottom. And then we anchored it up at the top. You can kind of see using some L brackets that we had laying around. Like I said in the prior video, I'm pretty pleased with the way this turned out. I will link some other resources of grid beam below. And if you build anything, definitely let us know. And I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I think I hit everything, but maybe not. And good luck with building projects.